Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial on modding the Nintendo 3DS. So by the end of this video, we'll take this 3DS and load a custom firmware on it that'll allow us to take our game cartridges and back them up onto a micro SD card so that we can put our game cartridges back in the box, preserve them in good condition. We'll have our whole game library loaded onto the 3DS so that we never have to use the game cartridges again. This 128 gig micro SD card cost me just under 20 bucks on Amazon. And while we're in there, we're gonna upgrade the 1750 50 milliamp hour battery to a 2500 milliamp hour battery. This cost me 10 bucks on Amazon, so quite a bump in battery capacity for $10. So we're gonna start by loading up the micro SD card on the computer and formatting it as FAT32. So let's jump over to the computer. All right, so here you can see I've got the 128 gig micro SD plugged in. I've opened up disk utility and I've clicked on the disk itself, not the volume. I'm just gonna go up here to erase and I will pick MS-DOS FAT and Master Boot Record and click Erase. All right, now that that's completed, we'll go over here to 3ds.hacks.guide. I'll go to the bottom of the page, click on Key Information, go to the bottom of that, click on Get Started. And now what it's gonna tell you to do is open up your console and go to the system settings and it'll tell you what version you're running. So I'm doing a new 3DS and I'm gonna do my version here and hit confirm. And now I'll download all five of these files. All right, now we're going to put these files on the SD card. So first we're gonna copy boot and firm and boot.3dsx from the luma3ds.zip to the root of the SD card. So let's start there. Next, we're going to copy everything inside of the release new 3ds.zip for our region, uh, the arm11code.bin and the browser hacks.bin to the root of the SD card. Next, we'll create the folder called boot9strap, and then we'll copy boot9strap.firm and boot9strap.firm.sha from the bootstrap9.zip into that boot9strap folder on the SD card. Now we'll copy safeb9installer.bin from the safeb9installer.zip to the root of the SD card. And last, we'll create a folder called 3DS in the root and we'll copy the nimsfax folder to that 3DS folder. All right, now I'll eject the micro SD card. We'll throw it into the 3DS and we'll jump back over to the bench. All right, now that we've got our micro SD all prepared, we need to install it into the console. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we remove our stylus and our game so that there's nothing in there. We'll flip it over. We're gonna loosen these two screws here. They don't come all the way out. There's little retainers in there, but we're gonna loosen them and then we'll pry it open from the two corners and the whole back plate should pop off. Now, while we're in here, if you chose to do the battery upgrade, you can see this is 1750 milliamp hours. We're gonna put in this 2500, this is optional. We'll go ahead and swap the battery. And now we'll put our micro SD into the slot. Now we'll flip it over and boot up the console. All right, now from here we'll press the left and right buttons at the same time. And we'll tap the QR scan button here. And now back on the 3DS Hacks website, we'll click here to go to get the QR and we'll scan the one for USA. And we'll hit OK. And we'll launch the internet browser. And now you have to make sure that your date and time are current. Mine is not, so I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna go to settings, hit open, hit other settings, date and time, and we'll set the current date and time. Now back in the web browser here, we're gonna hit select, we're gonna hit bookmark this page, we'll hit B, we'll hit ZR on the back side here, and I'm gonna close that new page so that only this remains. And I'll hit B, I'll hit Start, Settings. We'll delete Cookies and hit Yes. Now we're gonna hit Home. We're gonna immediately relaunch the web browser with A. And we're gonna select Go, Go. We'll hit A. And now after launching into Homebrew Launcher, we're gonna launch NIMSFAX. Okay, now you can see up here to install firm, enter the sequence below. So we're gonna enter that sequence. Press A to continue. Now we're gonna leave all of this the way it is and hit start. All right, now we're all booted with custom firmware. We'll go ahead and shut this down. And now I'll flip it over. We'll pull the micro SD card out and we'll jump back over to the computer. Okay, now we'll follow this link for finalizing setup. We'll scroll down here and grab these two files. 
And now down here with our SD plugged in, we're going to put finalize.ramfs in the root, and we're going to go into the Luma folder, create a payloads folder, and put xfinalize helper inside that payloads folder. Now we'll eject the micro SD card and we'll stick it back in the 3DS and get that booted up. Okay, now with our micro SD reinserted into the 3DS, we'll boot it up. And now we'll go to system settings. We'll go to other settings. And on number five here, we'll do system update. Now we can see we're all up to date. And now from the home menu, we're gonna launch Rosalina. So we'll do that by holding the left shoulder, the down arrow and hitting select. And we'll go down to miscellaneous options and hit A, do dump DSP firmware and hit A. And we can see it was successfully written. So we'll hit B, we'll go to nullify user time offset. And we can see that that was successfully done as well. So we'll hit B, we'll hit B, we'll hit B. And now we'll power off the console. All right, now with the console powered off, I'm gonna hold X and power up the console. And this boosts us into God mode nine. And we can see it's asking us if we want an essential files backup, we're gonna hit A for yes. Now we'll hit the home button and we'll go to scripts and we'll do finalize. We're just gonna hit A for yes, A, and we'll enter this code here. Press A. All right, once we see success setup complete, we're gonna hit A to power off the console. We'll close it up pop out the micro SD and jump back over to the computer. Okay, now with the micro SD card pulled up on the computer here, I'm gonna go into the GM9 folder and we're just gonna copy the backups folder. All right, and this will just help us restore later on if we run into any problems. So we'll file that away in a safe place. Then we're gonna go into that backups folder on the micro SD card and delete the two sysnand files to save up some space. Now we'll eject the micro SD. We'll stick it back in the 3DS and boot it up. All right, now with the micro SD reinstalled, we're just gonna boot it, make sure everything's still looking good. All right, so we can unwrap all of these new apps that have been installed. And everything looks good, so we'll go ahead and shut it down. And now at this point, we can install the back plate back on and tighten up the two screws. All right, now we'll back up this Formula One game to the micro SD, so I'm gonna do that by inserting the game cartridge. And then we'll boot into God Mode 9, and we'll do that by holding Start while we power on the console. And now we'll scroll down to the C colon game cart, we'll hit A. We'll scroll down to the 3DS file, and we'll select that. We'll go to NCSD Image Options, and we'll do Install Game Image. Then we'll hit A, and we'll enter the code here. All right, now that the game backup is complete, we're gonna hit A to continue. We're gonna hit A to relock the permissions. Now we'll hit B and we'll hit the home button and we'll power off the system. Now I'll eject my game cartridge and power it back up. And now we can see new software has been added. So we'll hit A to unwrap it. And there's our F1 game without the cartridge installed. So now I can put this cartridge in the box and preserve its quality. I don't have to install it anymore to play the game. So I can go through and do that with my entire game library now, back it all up onto the micro SD, and then it's all built into the console. All right, the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to install H-Shop so that we can go get a Metroid theme to match our Metroid case. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna pull out the micro SD one more time. So we'll power it off pull the micro SD out and jump over to the computer. All right, so in order to download themes, we're gonna go to hshop.arista.me slash 3HS, and we're gonna do the direct download of the CIA here. And once that's been downloaded, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go into the micro SD. We're gonna create a new folder called CIAs. And I'll paste it into there. We'll eject the micro SD card and we'll jump back over to the console. All right, so now with our console booted back up, we're going to launch the FBI application. And from here, we'll go to SD, we'll go to our CIAs folder, and we'll install the 3HS, we'll install and delete CIA. All right, now that that's done, we should be able to hit home. And we have our new software. We'll open that up. That's the H shop. All right, so once we're connected to HShop, we can go down here to Themes. We can go to North America, and I'll scroll to the M's. And there's Metroid, Samus, 
returns, so I will download that. All right, now that our theme was all installed, we'll hit A to exit, we'll go home. And the next thing we're gonna do is go to this Anamine. Okay, and before we can initialize this, we have to go to the home menu and set a default theme. Okay, so from the home menu, we'll go to this home menu settings up in the upper left here. And we'll change the theme. And I'll just do basic red for now. All right, now that that's done, we should be able to go back to Anim1. And now we can see our Metroid theme. So we'll hit A. So I'll hit A to install the theme. And we'll do up for normal install. All right, now if we exit out of here with the start button, power off, boot it back up. All right, now at this point, you guys should have a fully modded 3DS that's all themed out uh, with the ability to back up your game cartridges onto a micro SD. So as always, stay tuned and thanks for watching.